Hey everyone! Thanks for tuning in to Crochet with LJ. Today's tutorial is how to crochet in a spiral of four colors. This is part three in the spiral series. If you have not yet watched part one and two on how to crochet in a spiral with one and two colors, I would highly suggest watching those first and this pattern will make a lot more sense. So I'll link those below in the description. Otherwise, let's get started. Pick out four yarns that you would like to use. I just have some scraps here that I'm going to use for today. Make sure all four yarns are the same weight. I'm using a worsted weight yarn and a size 4 millimeter hook. You could certainly use any other hook size and corresponding yarn that you would like. Just make sure that all the yarns are the same weight, otherwise your pattern is going to be a little bit wonky. So we'll start with our first color, doesn't matter which one. And we'll start with a slip knot. I'll zoom in for you here in a second. So starting with our first color, we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and do a slip stitch in the first chain. You could also do a magic circle here if that's easier for you. This way is easier for me, doesn't really matter. And then we'll chain two. And we're now going to do three double crochet right into the center. One, two, three. Now I'm going to pull this loop far out because I'm going to stop with this color and we're going to move on to our second color. And we're going to do all four colors at the same time. So now get your second color. Make another slip knot. Pick up your work right where you left off. And do a slip stitch right through the center. Chain two and do another three double crochet through the center. Oops. One, two, three. Again, pull this loop all the way out. We'll move on to color number three. Do the same thing, make a slip knot. And slip stitched into the center, chain two, and three double crochet. Two, three. You can scooch our work over because we're going to fit one more set of three with our fourth color. Now it gets a little hairy when you get using multiple colors at a time. Just a heads up, we are going to have to untangle this yarn so it doesn't get really tangled. Again, do the same thing, the slip stitch in the center, chain two, and I'm just going to tighten that, and three double crochet. One, two. And that completes our first round. So if you remember when we were using one and two colors, we always start with 12 stitches in round one. So since we're using four colors, we did three stitches in each color, that makes 12. We're not counting our chains as stitches, just the actual stitches. So for round two, we need 24 stitches. And the pattern is exactly the same as if we're using one color where round two you're just going to do two double crochet into each stitch. So we're going to do the same thing. I always start, pull this out, I always start with the same color for each round just so I know where I'm at. 
And we're now going to do two double crochet into each of these three stitches in the next color. So yarn over and do two in that first stitch. Do two more in the second stitch. And that third stitch, you're, we're right up on where this loop is. That's exactly where you want to be. Okay, so we just did two stitches in each of those three stitches, so that's six. So color number two, we're doing the exact same thing. And we're going to do two double crochets into one, two, three stitches we have in color number three. So we're just doing the same thing with every color. So a total of six stitches in each color times four colors well, should be 24 stitches in total for round two. Pull that loop out pick up your third color, do the same thing with the two double crochet in each of the three stitches. All right, and pull that loop all the way out. This is what we have after round two. Very exciting stuff. See, we're just gonna keep going um, from color to color, doing the spiral pattern, just split up into four different colors. So round three is gonna have 36 stitches because we add 12 stitches for every round. So we had 12 here, 24, and now we're gonna do 36 stitches. So 36 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4 is 9 stitches. So we're going to be doing 9 stitches now with each color. Go back to your first color. The pattern for round 3 is 1 double crochet into the next stitch, 2 double crochet into the one after that. 1 double crochet in the next stitch, 2 into the one after that. So we're going to follow that pattern one double crochet, two into the next stitch, repeat, one double crochet, and two into the next. One more time in those last two stitches, Now pull out that loop, pick up the loop of the second color, and do the same thing, starting with one double crochet, and then two into the next, and keep going with that one, two pattern all the way around the round. Okay, so this is what we have after round three. You should have just done nine stitches in each color, and they should be evenly spaced around your spiral. 
Here's the other side. And we'll start round four in our first color. So pick up your first color. And we're going to start with one double crochet. Then we're going to do another double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to do two double crochets into the third stitch. And we're going to repeat that again with one double crochet, one more double crochet into the next stitch, and then two into the third stitch. So it's pretty much the same pattern, we're just spacing out that increase by one stitch every round. So every third stitch we do two. And you should be right at the end of your color when you do those last two. And pull out that loop. Pick up your second color and do the same thing. Continue with that one, one, two pattern. So one double crochet, one double crochet, and then two double crochet in every third stitch. And just keep that going for the same way for every color all the way around, and I'll meet you back at the end of this round. And this is what we have after our fourth round. You should have just done 12 stitches in each color, totaling in 48 stitches. The next round, we're going to do 60 stitches because we're increasing by 12 each round. So we had 12 in our round 1, 24 round 2, 36, 48, and the next round we'll have 60 stitches. So pick up your first color, and if you haven't already guessed, how the next row is going to go. You start with a double crochet, do one more double crochet, do a third double crochet into the next stitch, and then in the fourth stitch you will do two double crochet. So the pattern is exactly the same, it's just in this round every fourth stitch will be our double crochet. And the round after that, every fifth stitch will be the double crochet. After that, every sixth stitch, and so on and so forth. So we're increasing by 12 stitches each round, or three stitches for each color. You should be always ending each color with two stitches in that very last stitch. And you would just continue that same pattern with the next color and do each color exactly the same for each round. And if you lose count, just know that you're adding 12 stitches in total per round. So the next one would have 72, 84, 96, etc., etc. Hopefully this is making sense for you guys. If you're a little confused, please go back and watch the tutorials on crocheting in a spiral with one and two colors, and this will be a lot easier. You know, it gets kind of hairy with all the strings and gets a little confusing at times, but it's really a great pattern to do for a lot of projects. You can make a top, you can make a blanket, you can make a purse, or even start a beanie like this. There's so many different things that you could do. So let me know if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. Thanks for watching.